Hi, this is Marco from yeprogrammer.com. Um, today we are going to talk about how to debug a MATLAB program. So I have a very simple how world program in here. The how world program um, is a for loop. Within the for loop, there is a if statement. So if we want that, we can see for all the even value, it will be displayed. But uh, this is a how well program. How come it is not displayed how well? Let's say uh, I want to display 2 to 14 and then how well instead of 16 and then continues from 18 to 30. How can we do? So let's go back to this. We want to find out why it does not display the how well. First of all, I understand that we didn't have any command saying that display how well. But let me let us think about how can we check what is going on when it display number sixteen. How can we do it? There is a few options. For example, we can type keyboard. This command will make the file on hold for on hold and then it will make you able to input something in the command window. If we clear this window and then run the for loop again you see it display only two and then it has this k mark in here this k mark is saying it is start to debug keyboard so you can see in the m file there is a green arrow pointing to the keyboard what that means is at this point the file is when it went to this line, it lets you to input something from the command window. Okay, so what can you see in here? You can check what is the value of i. i is equal to 2. Okay, so what can you do else? Uh, if you want to keep continuous, how can you, what can, what can you do? You will type the command called return. Okay, after return, you see it display the value 4. Why is this pay for? Because this loop went again and again, went two more times, and it found out the remain, remain, remainder for this is equal to zero. So it will display the i, and then it will also um, start this keyboard statement. Okay, so. Is that the only way we can use for debug? Mm, not necessary. There is another way. Let me delete this and then save it. Right now you see the K mark in here is gone. We use CLC command to clean up the command window. We go back to the M file. We see there is one, two, three, four, five. There are five lines of code. In line number three, you can see there is a uh, one tiny line just right beside the number three. What we can do? We can do a single left click in here, and then you can see a web dog. When we run this program again. You can see it highlight. It highlight and it does not display anything. What that means is it does not want this display statement yet. But let's check what is the value of i. i is equal to 2. So basically, that also tells us i has already passed through 1 and then start 2. The remainder is equal to. Zero, so it display the value. 
so uh how can we how can we exit this um debug mode the way to exit the debug mode is using a command called db quit it will exit the debug mode so but you can see the red dot is still there we need to take the red dot away by doing another left kick on the red dot and then it will disappear um, there is another way just now I, I say like um, if we want to see what is going on in 9 number 16 what we can do basically it is very simple we can do if i is equal to 16 and then keyboard so it will hold the um, for loop at 9 equal to 16 and it will wait for your command let's run this so it display 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and then it holds the command what is the value of i right now? i is 16 and since you want to display uh, the how well at line equals 16 so we can type what, um, display hello well and you want to not display the i when it is 16 so you can say if i is not equal to 16 then i will display the value of i so let's save this ok and it will automatically exit the keyboard and we clean up the command window and then we can run it again because the keyboard is still there so we need to do a return and you can see it does not display 16 and it just display how well and 18 to 30.